Mayang buntag sa inyong tanan, to all our university officials, especially to our president, Dr. Victor Canezo Jr., faculty and staff, students, and all the stakeholders of BIPSU, led by our good friend, Governor Rogelio Espina, CHED Regional Director, Dr. George Colorado, and CHED Commissioner Aldrin Darilag. Happy, happy, victorious 48th founding anniversary to all of you. I still recall that it was also during the month of August, and if I'm not mistaken, in 2018 of uh, August 14, that we in the Senate passed on third and final reading House Bill 6065, which would become Republic Act Number 11170, renaming the Biliran Province State University. The fresh mandate of our university augurs well to the aspirations of BIPSU to be the leader in research and innovation for human empowerment and societal development. As chairperson of the Senate Committee on Higher Technical and Vocational Education, we put premium on research and innovation to meet the changing needs and challenges associated with the advances in technology and in education amidst the so-called fourth industrial revolution. In this context, we introduce additional funds for research and innovation under the 2020 budget. While COVID-19 causes disruptions to this initiative, it also accelerates uh, changes in modes of delivering education and highlights the promising future of teaching and learning, primarily through the use of digital technology. We also recognize uh, the great effort that uh, flexible learning requires, but we also uh, take up the challenges it poses, especially the challenges associated with the use of internet in education. In fact, in our uh, recent hearing, we learned from PASUK that only 34% of students in SUCs have internet connection at home. While connectivity among campuses of each SUC remains varied, we also learned that the DICT has yet to provide internet connectivity to more than 400 SUC campuses around the country. Hence, uh, we put in the place a 3 billion uh, peso fund for the development of smart campuses in state universities and colleges under Bayanihan 2. Last August 14, we also formally sent our request to the DICT to expedite the installation of free public hotspots in all SUC campuses, including BIPSU. Especially considering that a lot of SUCs are set to start the new academic year sometime this month. Clearly, we can turn this crisis, ladies and gentlemen, into an opportunity. Turn opportunities into concrete actions and thrive in the new normal. Today, no one can demonstrate this capacity to thrive in the new normal better than BIPSU. The launching of your flexible learning management system amid the pandemic is a testament of your resilience, creativity, and flexibility. Habang ginagawa po natin ang lahat para makatugon sa mga hamon at pangangailangan uh, hatid ng new normal education, nawa po'y magkaroon din tayo ng mas klarong metrics o impact evaluation tools para po masiguro natin na tayo ay nasa tamang daan. Mahalaga po kasi ito upang mapanatili natin ang tradition of excellence ng BIPSU. Halimbawa, maaari po natin gawing panukat ang mga oportunidad at trabaho makukuha sa hinaharap ng ating mga graduates na sasa ilalim sa ating new normal education methods, technologies, systems, and processes. Lubos po tayong humahanga sa inyong dedikasyon bilang isang pamantasan na harapin po ang mga hamon ng pandemya. Muli po, nagpapasalamat tayo sa lahat ng kawani at mga guro ng BIPSU, lalo't higit sa skeleton workforce ng universidad na patuloy na nagtatrabaho sa loob at labas ng campus para lamang matiyak na magpapatuloy ang edukasyon ng ating mga estudyante. Again, congratulations for celebrating your 48th founding anniversary more meaningfully by putting to the core our university's new normal roadmap. Happy, happy, victorious 48th anniversary and may 
God bless you all.